Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. As you all can see, I am in the bowels of the house here now that things are starting to cool down outside. And this video is actually, uh, it should have actually been done earlier in the year when the, the new bikes came out. But I was just thinking as I was looking through Harley's 2023 lineup online, I was thinking about the price of living these days, things like the increased cost of gas, heating your house, groceries, basically the increased cost of living across the board. And believe me, when you live in Canada and you have this clown show trying to run a country, everything is going to get more expensive. But anyway, that's not what this is about. This is about how a bike the 2023 CVO Road Glide Limited can be so much money. Now I am not a, an expert in baggers or CVOs or anything like that. So I am legitimately asking the question, how is this bike so expensive? Uh, in Canadian dollars, anyway, this bike lists at 65,000 nine hundred and ninety nine dollars just a shade under sixty six thousand for that kind of money i could buy two lowrider s's and a nightster and still have about a thousand bucks left over after now if you look at the cost of some of other bikes got my notes right here you know a regular ultra limited lists at thirty five thousand six ninety nine has a 114 nine color options uh the new cvos the new cvo road glide that starts at fifty four thousand two ninety nine. has two color options new styling variable valve timed 121 cubic inch engine and it is still eleven thousand dollars less now i know there's some differences between the two obviously different uh, different color, different graphics, it's got a tour pack on it, but I guess the question is, does that really make it $11,000 more than what Harley is promoting as their top of the line premium bikes? So if you look at the new CVO Road Glide against the Limited, you've got uh, 862 to 963 pounds so you've got a lighter bike in the new cvo you've got a 117 compared to a 121 cubic inch engine in the new cvo uh, so you're getting a little bit more performance you've also got what harley is calling industry leading tech in that new cvo so you have a bike that's lighter more powerful with better tech that costs $11,000 less. So that's one of the areas I struggle to see how the new CVOs are actually cheaper than the bike that's heavier, slower, and has the lower tech. Now, if you don't even wanna talk about Harley, you can talk about their competition. You could look at Indian. Uh, Indian, I guess the most direct competition for the CVOs would be the the Indian Pursuit Elite. Now, I'm not going to say the bikes are exactly the same, obviously, but that is their premium bike, or premium bagger, I should say. Um, it starts at $50,249, but that also includes the freight, the surcharge, and the dealer setup. And we should really talk about that with, with the Harley as well. At about $66,000, when you start adding on the PDI, the surcharge, the freight, dealer markup, taxes, all that, you'd be lucky to walk out of there at 75,000 out the door. Um, now, the Indian also may not have the, the biggest engine at uh, a 108 cubic inch, but what it lacks in the torque, it actually makes up in horsepower at 122, which is better than both CVO Harleys, I believe. So that bike comes in even cheaper, more horsepower, Maybe not quite as good, but I still don't think the Harley needs to be at least fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars $16,000 more than that. Now, if you want to look at another manufacturer, you could look at Honda. 
uh, a top of the line Goldwing right now, I think, is going for just about thirty-eight thousand dollars Canadian. Um, obviously, not the same bike, but at the same time, a good, very reliable bagger. Uh, I must say, I am not a big fan of the look of Gold Wings. But while we're on the subject, here is a Gold Wing from the 1980s, and you cannot tell me that that doesn't uh, strike a similarity to this uh, CVO Limited. Now, I'm not going to go through every little spec because that is going to take forever, but I do. I, I just need to know why is it so expensive? Is it the is it because it's an anniversary edition? Um, is it because of the limited amount made? There's only 1,500 of these made. Is that why Harley believes that it can charge that large, large price for it? Um, Harley does say that it was made in America, which drives up the cost of production rather than being made in a place like China or. Thailand or something like that but I just I just do not see it now people can say it's a collector's item possibly if you're going to take that bike and you're going to seal it up in a time capsule for the next 30 40 years maybe you know and keep it until gas-powered motorcycles are you know outlawed which probably happen someday with our government but if you're going to drive it at all, you're going to ride it, you're going to put miles on it, you're going to put a few scratches on it maybe. I don't see it as being that big of an investment. Um, and keep in mind now, you could buy a Mustang GT convertible 2024 that puts out around 500 horsepower for less than this bike. You could buy a brand new Ford F350 XL for less than what this bike costs. To me, it just does not make any sense. Now, I really don't have any problem with anybody who wants to buy this bike. If you've got that kind of money and you want it and you can swing it, go for it, man. But uh, to me, Harley is just gonna keep putting these prices on here because they know people will buy. And it's to me, it's just getting a little ridiculous. Um, it, I just don't see the bike uh, for the amount of money they're asking for. You could buy two fat boys or two road glides for the price of this bike. And me, of course, being more of a cruiser guy, I'll take the two fat boys over that uh, CVO Limited any day. But I'm interested to know what you guys think. Do you guys think it's a good deal? Am I totally out to lunch on this? Let me know because I'm legitimately curious how Harley thinks that that bike is worth anywhere near that amount but anyway that's it for today folks you guys try and stay warm and we'll catch you in the next one